let's kick it off with professional golf, the only sport that requires a chauffeur. There's a tradition at the Masters tournaments where players will try to skip their ball over the water hazard during practice. But even that wasn't enough showing off for one golfer this weekend. As PGA players ready for this weekend's Masters tournament in Augusta, Georgia, golfer John Rahm showed off during yesterday's practice round, skipping his ball on purpose across the pond and onto the green on the 16th hole. The ball tracks around the edge of the green, funnels toward the flagstick, and rolls into the cup. It was a hole in one, if you can believe that. Okay, that was insane but it also sucks that it was during the practice round. The perfect shot when it doesn't count. I feel bad for that guy, because we've all had that day, you know? When you're staying at home, but all of a sudden you're having the perfect hair day, everything looks tight. Then the next day you have a date, and it's the one day where you wear your underwear outside your pants, and you're like, ah, oh, crap, man, you should have seen me on Sunday. I was looking so fly. But you know who I really feel bad for? Is the guy behind him on the course, because how do you top that shot? You can't just get a hole in one, because he did that and he skipped the ball across the pond. The next guy's gonna have to try and skip his cart across the pond. Oh, shit! And I do hope that the PGA learns from this moment because this video got over 10 million views in just a few hours, which never happens for a golf highlight. So clearly, what golf needs is more fun trick shots. Bring in more tricks, add a few obstacles, maybe a tunnel where first dates can share an awkward kiss, some windmills. Now that's the kind of game people wanna watch. Wait, that's a thing? But let's move on to some good news for people who love reading, but also love convenience. All right, forget the usual vending machines you might find on college campuses. A couple of new dispensers at BYU are offering food for thought. A vending machine full of short stories. Fighting and pulling, she wept at once with sudden, wild abandonment. These stories are from around the world. There are some translations, there are classics, there's contemporary literature. We've had them up for about a week and we've dispensed almost 2,000 stories already. They said she had died of heart disease of the joy that kills. Why go to a candy dispenser when you can have a piece of good literature instead? Why go to a candy dispenser when you can have a piece of good literature instead? I mean, this is a cool idea, but I feel bad for the kids who went to her house on Halloween last week. Who wants three musketeers? Yay! By Alexandra Dumas. Ah, oh, let's egg this house. Also, I'll tell you this, you do not want to get the wrong vending machine after you've been out drinking all night. Can you imagine you just wanted some Doritos and now the whole town is throwing rocks at some lady? Like, what the hell? And it's extra awkward if one gets stuck because, I mean, you can't shake a machine that's full of, like, short stories. I'm paid for a terse allegory about growing old, goddammit! Give it to me! Although, if you ask me, they should combine the two things and have a vending machine where they print the story on a bag of Funyuns. Yeah, then you can eat while you're reading. Oh, it was a dark and stormy night. And Catherine's heart was aflame. 